I want to tell you about a trick of shaitan. When you go late to work and your boss is angry at you because you're late and lots of people work at your office, you know what you do? You avoid eye contact and sneak into your cubicle. You don't want to, sit, you don't want to face him. When you, when you have a bad report card and you go home to your family, you're in 6th, 7th grade, you got a bad report card, you sneak into the house. There's no, Salaamu Alaikum, I'm home. You sneak in and you kind of go and you pass out, you go to sleep. <laughs> right? What happened in school? Nothing. When you disappoint someone, you avoid contact with them. You avoid, it's natural. In this case, when we do something shameless, when we wrong ourselves, who have we disappointed? Allah Azza wa Jal. We've just so disappointed Allah. So naturally shaitan takes advantage of this. He comes to you and me and he says, you're gonna go pray now, you hypocrite. You do this shameless thing. You do this and that and now you wanna go attend a class. Now you wanna go do, you know, ibadah. You should be, you don't, you know, you, you're such a two-faced person. So this person says to themselves, yeah, I shouldn't go pray because I'm two-faced. Shaitan takes advantage. He distances you from Allah. And we're embarrassed to go before Allah Azza wa Jal. But the true muttaq, he does something wrong. He does something wrong. And immediately what does he do? He remembers Allah. Dhakarullah. There's not even fa, no thumma, nothing. Dhakarullah. Immediately. Fastaghfaru li dhunubihim. Then they asked Allah to forgive for their sins. And the word for sins here, dhunub, comes from dhanab actually, a tale. That which you're not proud of. That, that which humiliates you. Something you did that you're not proud of. And they ask Allah to forgive those embarrassing things that they did. وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Who's gonna forgive sins if not Allah? Who's gonna, who are you gonna go to? Where else you gotta go? Who knows the things that you and I have done wrong except ourselves and Allah? There's way, there's a lot of things in our closet that Allah has not exposed. And only Allah knows and we have to find the time to ask Allah to forgive. This is the, the, the main attribute of people that are described that enter Jannah. أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٌ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْنَّهَا The ayat are coming. The sandwich between mentions of Jannah. And the last thing I share with you about this, this, this final passage, I was one time, I was with my family and we were at a mall. And this other mom, her, her child, she was yelling at her child. This mother was yelling at her child and the, the kid's crying his head off. And she even gave him a little, you know. But you know where the child went? After he even got hit and yelled at? He's still holding on to the mother. He's not letting go. Everywhere else around there are these ugly, gigantic strangers. He doesn't want to deal with them. Even if she's angry, even if she's disappointed, even if she's upset, his whole world, his whole shelter, his whole protection, where is he gonna go except? His mother. And it made me think, subhanAllah, when you and I sin, when you and I disobey Allah, where are we gonna go? Where else is there to go? Who do we turn to? We don't, we don't have anywhere else to turn. So even if we disappoint our Lord, even if we fall short of the standards He set for us, the true muttaq, the hopeful of Jannah, He never loses hope in Allah. لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله. تقنطوا من رحمة الله. Don't lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Don't, you're not allowed to lose hope in the mercy of Allah. This is the attitude we have to internalize. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us from among the muttaqeen. May Allah make us from those who spend when it's easy and it's difficult. May Allah make us from those who suppress their anger. May Allah make us from those who forgive people lovingly and pardon them, pardon them out of love of Allah Azza wa Jal. May Allah make us of those who whenever they commit an act that is not not becoming of a believer, they immediately remember Allah and they ask Allah to forgive their sins. For who is there to forgive the sins except Allah? May Allah Azza wa Jal protect all of us and our families, especially our youth that are faced with all kinds of trials and tribulations. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.